Hi, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is going to be the last read until a little bit later. Um, excuse me, a little bit technical difficulties, right? Her, all right, we, I think I fixed it right far. All right, um, <laughs> you guys have to excuse my silliness and goofiness today. Definitely tapping into the inner child energy, the very free-spirited, just joyous, um, joyous, okay. Um, yeah, you guys seen how the inner baby just came out like joyous, joyous, like <laughs> just with some really goofy energy. So you all would have to excuse that. But once again, hello, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So um, I will be working on some individual sign reads, but I figured let's do some group sign reads for uh, the next, uh, I guess you could say 24 to 48. Then start of the week we'll do the individual sign reads okay <clears throat> deep breath guys all right so i've always um well i haven't always but i'm trying to incorporate always breathing breathing in breathing out very deeply before every read i feel like it's integral i feel like it's very important and i feel like it just sets the tone for the read all right puts us in a very clear and light state of mind state of being okay let's get into it <clears throat> y'all because y'all know i go on a tangent here <laughs> okay hi beautiful souls look first card off the deck out of our channel messages we have beautiful soul next to that we have a pretty beggar immediately i started cackling to myself i was like a pretty beggar but this is one of these little hoochie mamas these little um bougie barbies bougie baby wannabes i don't know y'all um <laughs> that be out here trying to act like they're so flattered like they so this or so that whole time they really like some beggars out here all right hey it's inflation time i get it i get it all right but don't be trying to point the finger at nobody else when behind the scenes you be begging and doing something strange for a little piece of change yourself okay no let me stop y'all <laughs> all right beware of someone trying to come in with this fake <clears throat> message of concern as well as this flattery all right somebody yeah they, they want to come in and try to flatter you yeah we have conception yeah this is in regards to uh what you are building for yourself at this time somebody i mean this can go one or two ways y'all somebody can truly and genuinely be inspired okay um and curious about what, what it is that you have created for yourself what it is that you are doing for yourself or this can go the other way and somebody could just be trying to Figure out a way to make your ideas theirs, make your destiny, your royal priesthood theirs, basically. All right, we have belief, the number 11. All right, so the frequency of belief supports our sense of self, worth based on our gifts and talents, and a strong connection to source, absolutely. All right, so someone sees you believing in yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they see you loving on yourself, they see you setting the stage and balancing out the scales all right the inner turmoil that perhaps you may have faced in the recent past and you know evidently you overcame it didn't break you down all right you're still living to uh to slay the day i just heard slay the day but i'm also i just also heard save the day okay there's something that you're being called to do um something that's like a very heroic act something that you have been thinking to yourself if you should really do it or not if you should really go along with this thing yes you have been called yes you are a master in this okay you do have the cosmic flower here meanwhile you well which equates in my eyes to having the cosmic power here okay yeah the frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home all right so a lot of you could be a lot of uh, be doing a lot of daydreaming um and this is positive okay a lot of visualization meditation that is very very important especially as we go into a new season a new timeline all right all of these different changes taking place okay all of the different things that you are building yeah we have crown chakra okay so this could be a crown chakra activation <clears throat> excuse me i don't know i just got tongue tied there but anyway we have crown chakra yeah so that's something that you've just recently activated unlocked okay you could have just recently withdrew yourself from whoever this energy is it's going to try to come in and 
messed up your dynamic here because this is what fell i don't usually like picking up the cards that fell fall on the floor but i was like whatever so yeah we have dynamic yeah so somebody wants to come in with this fake message of concern to try to rain on your parade here be a debbie downer on whatever it is that you're doing here yeah bottom of the deck we got third eye chakra so something about your upgrade something about your spiritual prowess your spiritual um evolution here gemini libra aquarius yeah somebody sees you being very bubbly very playful at this time it's offending others and others it's inspiring them okay all right let's see Spirit guides, ancestors, most high creator of all things, divine intelligence. Archangel Michael, please come in and let me know what further energies you would like me to relate to my beautiful divine Gemini's, Libras, and Aquarius. Okay, shout out to you, beautiful stars. All right, shout out to you, beautiful elements. Yeah, you have a very, very strong essence. I can just feel it right now. Somebody has a very, this could be this, <laughs> all of you collectively do, but it, this, I'm definitely picking up on heavy Gemini and Aquarius energy. Like Libra, you're more about balancing the scales. But this damn Gemini and Aquarius, y'all ain't finna worry me today. Y'all, <laughs> y'all super bubbly selves. He's gonna worry me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're at peace. Wow, this is beautiful. You've created this peace for yourself. Okay, this tranquility. Ooh, look at the word. Look at the word sauce. The tranquility though. Yeah, because you're on this newfound frequency. Um, yeah. We have conception. Mm-hmm invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin yeah the place where we feel we belong yeah we have protection so you are definitely protected from this pretty beggar okay if someone here could actually look good okay who have this karmic or doesn't necessarily even have to be a karmic but someone here could be in could you know go back and forth from karmic to back to divine energy what have you um but you're definitely protected from this person that wants to come in with some fake flattery or a fake message of concern they really need help i've picked up on this in a freaking collective read so i know that this is a real thing going on i was about to say globally okay <laughs> somebody's um intuition is definitely blocked here meanwhile you you're coming out with this very confident and balanced attitude here yeah libra energy with this balance yeah hmm I feel like with this blocked intuition here, this feminine or masculine energy did not think something through, um, did not thoroughly use their intuition here. Yeah, there were some crown chakra and third eye chakra blockages as well here. Yeah, because they were trying to mess with your conceptions. They were trying to mess with what you conceived. This could even have something to do with your offsprings, okay? Mm. Yeah, we have confidence. Yeah, you're very confident. There's no need for flattery. I mean, you know who you are. I'm not saying that you can't receive compliments, but you know when, when a mother... <laughs> Y'all know when a motherfucker is overdoing it. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, spirit guides, ancestors, most high creator of all things. Yeah, we have cleanse. Okay, so someone here, um, whether Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, you could be needing to go on a detox or a cleanse. Um, for those of you who could, who could have been doing some emotional eating or binge eating in the recent months or something along those lines here. Someone here could be going on a fast. Got something to do with comfort food. Yeah, eating a lot of comfort food here. Yeah, to dissolve or resolve some sort of pain. Yeah, you've overcame it though. That's what I'm seeing. Hence why it's coming out in the reverse and hence why you are coming out as being peaceful and protected from any adverse situations, people, places, or things is, is what I'm seeing here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> yeah, we have flow. All right, so yeah, something, hmm, something to do with the flow of things. What is this? Yeah, there's a lack of movement. Something that's been disrupted here. All right, if this isn't your energy, this could be someone's energy that is connected to you. All right, somebody was expecting something to go quickly or work out quickly um, on their behalf here, and it did not. Yeah, something to do with your confidence, your crown chakra activity. Yeah, that could not be moved here. Yeah, you cannot be moved spiritually or uh, physically is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, because you're, you're very balanced out. Definitely given big Libra energy. Once again, big Libra 
and Aquarius energy. This balance. <clears throat> yeah, we have magic coming out. So yeah, a lot of you have been doing a lot of um, picking up on self um, self preservation like activities. Like a lot of you are, you know, eating better. You are drinking more water, drinking more fluid. You could already be on a detox, or you could already be fasting from. You know, the junk food, the fast food, things like that is what I'm seeing here. Yeah. Someone here could be uh, going to the gym a lot. Yeah, we have faith. Okay, so you have a um, massive faith here. And this is another big reason why this past, present, near future person wants to come back on in and get a second chance with you now. All right, now we're going to pull some tarot and get some concluding messages. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if anything that I've touched on thus far has resonated with you, if it's sounding familiar, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, comment down below. Let myself and others know that you are here. All right, and uh, let's continue. Okay. Um, what is this movement in the reverse? Throw in the reverse and it's pain in the reverse. Spirit, make it clear. All right, Spirit, I know you've been here, so go ahead and make it clear, all right? Yeah, because this is, I don't know, this is kind of bugging me out, yeah. This could be like a lack of um, stability in someone who was once connected to you, because I don't feel like this is your energy at all, not this conception coming out upright, and not with the peace coming out upright right next to that. Yeah, not with you having this beautiful soul, no. This is not your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> okay, so we got the four blades. All right, we're going to... Up here okay we're gonna read in our little booklet y'all know uh well you should know if you're not <laughs> if you're um not a returning viewer well i hardly use this supernatural deck so we're going to um on the messages i'm not familiar with like the cards the oracles i'm going to look into the book and pull a message oh lord we got big four four energy we got the four of blades coming out the four of bones coming out this is beautiful energy if you ask me what i feel like is this is a breakthrough this is a celebration this is a change yep as well as a transformation yep coming in right underneath protection confidence faith Ooh. Oh, okay somebody feels restricted or did this could be to this lack this could be in regards to this lack of uh movement here way too many cards but i will pull this one I think I may get a tablecloth for my table, um, like, um, though, although I really don't want to, but it's just so slippery. <laughs> okay, so we got the kings of goblets. Alright, let's get a couple more messages and we're going to break this on down. This mischievous, this is giving like seven of swords energy to me. Someone's very mischievous. Or hell, this could be your energy. You're somebody's like, oh, I got the last laugh now. I'm laughing and smiling all the way to the bank here. Is the energy I'm picking up on air sign? Yeah, we got the ace of pentagrams. What's coming in right behind that? Mm, temperance, balance. Listen, I can't make any of it up. All right, somebody sees the situation changing. Um, someone sees this wheel is turning in your favor. Someone feels that they was not able and had no no uh, rhyme or reason to try to stop your bag, to try to stop your uh, stability. But in doing so, it, it, it made all of the towers fall in their life, okay? Yeah. Somebody is not able to handle what it is that they've dished out to you and others. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, which is why you've been staying calm. Like, you've been staying calm in, you know, different situations, and they don't understand that. All right, anyway, we got the four blades. So the four blades suggest it's time for some hard-earned rest and relaxation. You're coming out of a difficult period, period, okay, um, in your life, and it's time to take a break and allow yourself to process recent events. Okay, so this is not for everybody, but it could definitely be for somebody here. You all would definitely have to, you know, Place some flip and reverse rolls where you deem fit here. All right, let's clarify this four of bones here. All right, so I know what it means. Oh, what did I say? Celebration, success, harmony, and happiness, particularly at home or within the family. Absolutely, which is why this temperance is here as well as this ace of pentagrams. Somebody really thought she was going to end up broke. Someone thought she was going to be on some sort of slippery slope and some sort of poverty here yeah all of that backfired here let's get some manifesto messages and then we're going to conclude the read from my beautiful gemini libra and aquarius 
so this is a beautiful card i love this card it says when i'm tuned into the energy of abundance i become abundant absolutely y'all i know you've seen all my community posts listen both of my hands have been itching for weeks hell damn near months now like i'm just like whoa and then just out of nowhere i'll receive a, a random blessing it's just like yo here comes spirit showing up and showing out so i know that this is true for you all all right any final messages give me some manifesto messages for my beautiful gemini libras and aquariuses <laughs> all righty let's see guys let's see what comes out this one just come out suppose this one <laughs> whoa 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 what the heck is happening here okay so the universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them why did the, these same two cards in the same damn in the same damn um unison or in the same damn direction came out at the same damn time lord when i introduced joy to a situation i changed the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me i shit listen we got when i surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe i attune my energy with an ever-present stream of well-being oh shit absolutely okay what else are we manifesting yeah i can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy period okay period okay we have instead of worrying about the future i know all is well when i'm aligned in the moment exactly stay present gemini libra aquarius okay stay present stay in the moment all right no future tripping all right because that's what man i've learned that's what creates our stress we we so worried about tomorrow like when we ain't even living for today enjoy today before you start stressing over tomorrow because hell tomorrow might not even come how you know tomorrow ain't the day that the most high you know says it's over you know and done and, and decides to come back and take the earth back all right so yeah like continue to focus on your goals okay yeah we have i choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith in the universe absolutely which is why you're attracting these blisses and this abundance yeah i accept that good things come easily i am a super attractor beautiful all right so yeah aries i mean excuse me Ooh. lord either aries is sitting here talking about me or this situation <laughs> could have something to do with an aries for some of you here but um yeah gemini libra aquarius this is your read please be on guard and just be on the lookout for these individuals places people places things trying to come in now all of a sudden that they see you rising up that they seeing you you know bossing up and celebrating your brand new life that you have co-created for yourself and with that said collective well not collective but gemini libra aquarius health yeah cross watches all y'all welcome anyway but <laughs> that is what i have for you if you enjoyed this as much as i enjoyed giving it to you you know what to do go ahead and like comment down below and until next time 